What's up everyone, this is Scott with Team 512 and I'm back with another video. This time, I'm continuing the mods to the interior of my C5 fixed roof coupe. I'm going to install this steering wheel cover here, this leather, perforated leather steering wheel cover with red stitching. I ordered this from Amazon, it was like 12 bucks and uh, it comes with two needles and some red uh, thread in order to stitch this on. So. We'll see how difficult of a job that's gonna be. I'm gonna try to get the best camera angles and lighting for you guys. So if you wanna do the same mods to your interior, you can get a close up uh, look at how I get it done. But it's difficult inside of a fixed roof coupe because I don't have any light coming in through the top of the car. So in the garage here, it's sometimes difficult to get enough light inside of the car to be able to see some of the work that I'm doing. So. Um, let's get started. Now we're going to go ahead and install this DIY steering wheel cover. And we'll see how this turns out. So you get with this DIY kit some red thread and needles. You also get the steering wheel cover itself. First step appears to be <laughs> the easy one, and that is lacing it over top of the steering wheel with this seam at the bottom here. It's like putting a, a tire on a road bike, if you've ever experienced that before. All right, so I have it on, but the seam is not lined up in the middle, so we're gonna have to slip it off and reposition. And this is the easy part. <laughs> All right, step one is complete. Now on to step two. So we're ready to start lacing, and I've seen a couple different methods online for how to lace the steering wheel. One method would be to every time you come to a spoke, stop lacing, tie it up, complete that area, and then start on the other side of the spoke again. So on the case, in the case of this steering wheel, you would have one, two, three, and then four distinct uh, pieces of string. And you would just leave the area around the spoke clean of any stitching. Another way you could do it is you could start and work your way all the way around the steering wheel, and every time you get to a spoke, you just kind of make some dummy switches, uh, dummy stitches through the spoke or through the through the threads here. I don't think I'm going to do it that way because I fear that I would run out of thread in some really inconvenient spot, and uh, I'd end up having to stop maybe over here and then start start a new thread. And I don't want to do that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lace um, one section at a time. And so let's get started with that and. We'll see what it looks like. And in fact, maybe I'll start with this, this bottom section. Now, what I want to do is I want to start at the closest hole to the spoke on the back part of this um, cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a hole that's already there where there's already some... Uh, thread laced through. Instead of going through the hole, the, the needle's going through my finger. I now know what a thimble's for. All right, there we go. I got the needle through. Now what I want to do at the end of this string, because I, I actually don't know how much string it's going to take in order to do this section. I can just use all of the string and pull it all through every time. And once I get this section done, I might have a better idea of how much thread it actually takes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tie a simple knot on the end of the thread here. Put another one in there so that it doesn't pull through. So again, if, 
if you have an idea on how long this thread needs to be, you're not going to have to pull it through every stitch. But unfortunately, being the first time doing this, I have no idea how much thread I actually need. Now the next thing I'll do is bring the needle back through. I'll lace it through the adjacent hole on the other side of the cover. There you go. If you have a thimble, <laughs> I can certainly recommend it. So if you're going to do this job by yourself, put your patient's hat on because you're going to need it. I haven't even completed a single stitch yet. All right, there we go. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to come back in here and I want to wrap the needle around the thread a couple times. And this stitch will pretty much lock this beginning down. I don't know if you can see that, but it is now locked down over here. Pull all this thread back through, and then we can start stitching and what I want to do is, and you'll see it when I come back around on this front side, skip every other uh, lace here. There we go. So I don't know if that's showing up on camera yet. Let me get a little further and you might be able to see it. I probably won't record this entire process, just enough for you to, to see what I'm doing. But again, I'm skipping basically, ooh, there you go, that just pulled tight. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera in closer here so you can see what's going with, on with these stitches. All right, so I think you can see what's happening with these stitches, every other one I'm pulling across and pulling it tight. So I'm going to finish this section and then I'll bring you back in and show you what a finished section looks like. So I wanted to get some of this process uh, on film here. You can see I finished the first section down here. And yeah, this end I could have done maybe a little bit better. Now one of the advantages of doing this a section at a time is I can go back after I'm finished and I can cut this out and, and redo it if I want to. Um, started the second sec section here and I am cruising. So what I'm gonna do is just show you exactly the process that I'm going through in order to, to get this. Now I'm skipping every other. So and I'm holding this with one hand, so I'm trying to do this with one hand. So in the back here, the next one would be this loop right here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a loop right back there. Let's see if I can get more light. There you go. So there's a loop back here. You can see I skipped that, oh, the one right below it. And uh, I'm going to pull this through. And I ended up leaving all this thread on here. And what's cool is once you get it threaded through, if I pull 
you see how that tightens right up and makes a really neat stitch pattern. I think what I want to do is just get better at ending the stitch up here and making a bit of a cleaner uh, end unlike I did down here. So we'll see if I can end it any better up here, but I actually think this looks pretty cool and it's not too difficult. I just want to do a quick update for you. I have the bottom three sections complete. Again, this one here, I did not pull tight enough. That was the first one I did. And uh, I may go back and redo that one. I'm not sure yet, but I completed this one uh, just now. And what's left is the top part of the steering wheel. So I got a new piece of string to start this out with. I've already fed it through the hole to get it started. And I tied a knot on the end of the string there so that it won't pull through. And uh, there you go. So we're going to start the first stitch and work our way all the way around the steering wheel and finish it up over here. And I'll get back with you as soon as I get it finished. All right, so I just got finished with the steering wheel and I think it looks awesome. I was hoping to get more of the process on camera, but I started running out of time and I just wanted to get it finished. So without further ado, here you go. What do you guys think? It wasn't too bad. Uh, definitely bring your box of patience if you're gonna give this uh, mod a try. Um, and make sure you've got about an hour and a half or so of time that you can devote to, uh, to the process. Couple tips, again, the first one would probably be patience, lots of it. Uh, the other thing is that uh, you want to pull everything nice and tight. I'll leave a link in the, in the description for the one that I ordered from Amazon. It fit the steering wheel perfectly. And you can see, I think, I'm going to try to get this on camera. The seam in here pulls tight together when you get the stitching done correctly. So there you go. I think the uh, black and red theme is going strong in the interior here. And uh, like I said earlier, a set of floor mats, some LEDs, and, uh, and I think this thing will be, be wrapped up um, for now, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, that's today's video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button while you're at it. Also, Leave me some comments too. I love interacting with people who love Corvettes and cars just as much as I do. Till next time, see ya.